What's up, One Pride? Rachel Marie Sports here for the Woodward Sports Network. And you know the drill on these Woodward updates. I cover my quick thoughts on last Sunday's loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. I go over some key news surrounding our Detroit Lions this week and then give my keys to victory for this Sunday along with my score prediction. So let's roll right into it. First and foremost, this was probably the most devastating loss of the season thus far. The offense just could not get it clicking and we were essentially blown out by the Cincinnati Bengals in a game that I felt was winnable. Now, Dan Campbell was also asked a lot about this loss in his press conferences and he received some criticism from the national media because he called out Jared Goff, but I for one side with Herman Moore on this issue. He said he felt like Campbell was more or less just challenging a capable leader, and I agree with that. I think that Goff needs to step up. I know that he's lacking some confidence probably surrounding the trade from LA, but he is the only one that can turn around that narrative here. And hopefully this Sunday, going back into his old stadium, his old turf, we see Jared Goff fired up. Now let's talk about some of the news surrounding our Detroit Lions this week. First and foremost, Dan Campbell said that Taylor Decker has suffered a setback with his injury, which leaves him not likely to play this coming Sunday. Uh, Campbell does mention, though, that we have until Tuesday after the bye week to figure out what's going on there and to give him that extra time to recover. So we'll keep an eye out on that. Uh, Deshaun Hand is back at practice this week. Limited participant, but he seems to be trending in the right direction. It was also reported that at Lions practices this week, they have switched it up a bit. Definitely having some more situational reps in practice as far as the gotta have it moments in games or the gotta make the stop moments in games. So hopefully we see that translate to the field. And certainly something to check out if you have not already. Look at the Detroit Lions social media and you will find a video of Chris Spielman being surprised and being told that he is going to be put into the team's ring of honor. It was definitely a little bit of a tear jerker, so definitely take a look. And that brings me to my keys to the game for this upcoming Sunday in Los Angeles versus the Rams. Woo, it's gonna be quite the reunion. Matthew Stafford and the Rams are a very high-powered offense, and of course, Aaron Donald is leading a pretty wicked defense as well. So I'm just hoping that it's not the absolute carnage that I'm imagining in my mind, but let's roll into it. My first key to the game is to pray. Donald, take it easy on us. Second, I think we need to figure out how to utilize TJ Hawkins in this game. Because listen, our wide receivers are really no match for this Rams secondary featuring Jalen Ramsey. And opposing defenses are figuring out our run game. We saw it last week versus Cincinnati. Because there is no threat of a pass attack, they're just stacking the box against our running backs. So we're gonna need to figure out how to utilize other skill positions players this week to kind of take the load off. And last but certainly not least, we need to play tough and play with consistency. Consistency is something that this team has been severely lacking. It's very up and down week to week. We do see progression with the defense, but I have not been seeing very much of it with the offense. And playing tough is gonna to be so important because we as Lions fans know you get two types of Stafford when he's put under pressure. The first one being that he'll rise to the occasion and rise above, and the second being the Stafford that forces throws and makes some bad decisions. So, I mean, if we're gonna give this a shot, we have gotta play tough, put the pressure on, and try to be consistent. So what's my score prediction, you might ask? Although I think there is fight in this Lions team, I see them going down 31 to 17 in LA. Let me know what you think the final st score is gonna be. Drop that in the comments below this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and shout me out on Twitter. The tag there is at Sports. Be sure to follow along with all of Woodward Sports Network social media accounts so you can stay up to date on all things Detroit sports and more. And as always, one pride.